Hey, it's Hawken with Top Don. Today we're going to show you the Radar Angle Alignment Kit. This is used in a variety of different scenarios, and we have a few different adapters here that you can make use of to calibrate the angle of the radar itself on the bracket. So we have uh, this style here, which has a suction cup inside uh, that we can clip onto the radar. This is common on a lot of long-range radars, frequently on the front of the vehicle. Uh, and then we have this other design here, which has some clips on it that you can use to align typically medium range or blind spot style radars in the rear. In addition to that, we also have an angle inclinometer inside here, which you can see. Uh, that allows you to verify the correct angle of the radar as you're making the adjustments. It also has some recesses around kind of the corners, which we'll show you in just a moment here, to allow you in certain situations where these brackets may not clip onto the radar. Obviously, that's a very thoughtful design because not every radar is identical or the same, right? Now, we also have some spare suction cups for replacement if needed uh, on this one here. And then we also have this one here, which is used for parking sensors or short range sonar on Toyota typically. So uh, the kit is uh, very comprehensive in nature for most radar alignments. You also have the tool to adjust the screws and uh, we're gonna show you just a use case here on a 2023 Hyundai for a rear blind spot module and uh, show you how we will check the angle on that particular vehicle. So let's get started. Okay, so now we're gonna look at the angle inclinometer here. And if you look closely, you can see there's some recesses here. If we look over at the radar, you can see there's kind of a hump in the middle. And what we need to do is establish the angle of the radar relative to the body of the vehicle. Now, the specification on this vehicle is 90 degrees plus or minus 1.5 degrees. So if we rotate our angle inclinometer like this and stick it centered over the hump, we can read out the angle. Now, currently, I'm going to stick my head over and look. 89. roughly 37. So we are within the degree and a half range of error that is allowed for this particular radar. That means that this is installed correctly on the vehicle and the angle relative to the body is correct, which means that the bumper can go back on after we've checked the other side and we can go ahead and carry out the rear blind spot calibration. Now we always wanna make sure we're checking service information before we carry out that uh, alignment on the radar itself. And we wanna make sure we always follow all the instructions on the tool as we carry out that procedure as well. All right, so we have the bumper back on now and in this particular situation, this vehicle is actually what we call a dynamic calibration. When we go into the scan tool and we go to the left rear blind spot radar and we go to do the calibration, we will see if we hit this button here, we don't get any prompts that tell us to pull out a specific target. In many cases, we would be using something like a radar reflector cone from the Top Don 3-in-1 radar kit. In this particular situation, Hyundai has redesigned the system to just use dynamic driving alignment. So we did the simple basic check of the radar in the bracket, and now the bumper is back on and we're gonna take it for a drive until the, the calibration progresses to the point where it is completed. Once we're done with the calibration, we will generate a post-scan report and integrate that into our pre-scan, which we took some pictures of the alignment angles of the bracket and the radar and then we'll be able to give this documentation to the customer. Now, we showed you the vertical angle relative to the body of the car. That was specified at 90 degrees plus minus one and a half degrees. The one angle we're not gonna show you the measurement in this specific video is the horizontal angle. There are some additional tooling we would have to rig up to set that up, and we would also need to find the center line of the vehicle as well as the square line off the bumper in order to do that measurement. Again, we're not gonna show you that today, but just be aware that you need to look at the service information because this is another angle you do have to verify before carrying out the dynamic calibration. 